Hello friends, we are Snort employed by a fine company, so let's know so lead coding till we get there. Today we are going to do binary tree level order traversal lead code problem. And if we see some of the companies where I want to get a job who have already asked this question, there are companies like LinkedIn, Amazon, Microsoft, Facebook, Bloomberg, Google, Apple, and Uber. So that's why I'm paying my utmost attention. I hope you also enjoy the video. So this is a lead code medium problem. And basically we are given the root of a binary tree. Now we need to return the level order traversal for this binary tree and we need to return the nodes values. Now we are also told that we need to return them in left to right fashion and uh, level by level. Basically we are given a binary tree over here. Now for any binary tree basically we always have two things. We have a root node or a parent node and that parent node has some children nodes. So and furthermore this children node can have children of their own as well. So every time a new set of nodes are being added at the bottom essentially we can define a new level being created so if we see this example over here essentially this is level 1 this is level 2 and this is level 3 and we need to return the nodes level wise from left to right so let's try to understand this with this example over here where we are given three levels so this is level 1 these two nodes they are located at level 2 and this two nodes they are located at level number 3 so in the answer first of all we are going to return this node 3 because this is the only node at this level there are no other nodes now at the second le second level we have two nodes 9 and 20 and we need to return them in the same sequence of 9 and 20 and in the third section we have two nodes 15 and 7 first we will return 15 and then we will return 7 and that is the answer we are going to return in this case uh, let's see that what would be different approaches to solve this problem so when it comes to tree traversals there are mainly two subcategories first one is a depth first search and second one is a breadth first search well in the depth first search we actually expand upon the depth of any given tree and then we keep on iterating over all the nodes while in the breadth first search we actually visit the root node first and then visit its children and then keep on repeating the same process so in this portion uh, for depth first search there are three further subcategories in order pre order and post order which i'm going to show you first and then i'll explain you how breadth first search work and in this problem actually we are going to use breadth first search to solve this problem so during the in order traversal basically first we visit the left side of the tree then we visit the root node and then we visit the, the right node so first of all for this root node we will keep on expanding until the left node exists so left node exists over here and then left node again exists over here which means this is the first node we are going to visit so we start our visit the traversal at 4 now 4 does not have any more children which means we can't go downwards anymore which means now we go back to the root node so root node for this 4 is actually 2 and then we again expand on the right side for this 2 we still have right side 5 that we haven't visited so we will do that now again we have visited all these three nodes so now we are done with these now we again go back to the root node which is 1 so we visit 1 and then again we repeat the same process left root and right so again we go on the right side so this is the strategy for in order traversal now for the pre-order traversal basically we follow the principle of root left and right node and this is the way we visit the node so first of all we are going to visit the root node which is 1 in this case then again we are going to visit the left node which is 2 then again we are going to visit the left node which is 4 then again we are going to visit the right node which is 5 again we come back and now in this case we again go back to this root node which is 3 then again we go to the left and then again we go to the right so this is the strategy for using a pre-order traversal now for the post order traversal basically we follow the principle of left node right node and then root node so first of all we are going to visit up until left node exists so this is the leftmost node so we are going to visit that first so we start our traversal at this position number four then we visit the right node which is five and then we visit the root node which is two in this case now uh, after this we actually don't visit this node one because for this road node one there exists a right subtree that we haven't visited so we again go to the right side and again this also has a left node which is 6 so then we visit the node 6 in this case then we visit the node 7 and then for after visiting the 6 and 7 then we visit its root node which is 3 and in the end after visiting all the nodes we visit the main root node which is 1 and this is going to be the traversal strategy for the post order traversal so when it comes to breadth first search we actually expand upon its neighbors or its children for any given tree rather than going in depth in any one particular direction so 
for if we see for this particular tree the breadth search traversal is going to look like this so first of all we are going to visit the root node which is one in this case then we are going to visit its children so its children are actually two and three so we are going to visit this node two and three now for this left child again it still has children of its own so we are going to visit them first so we are going to visit this node four and five and then for this node three it has children of its own as well which is six and seven now in this case we cannot further expand because this four five six and seven does not have any children of their own so we are done with the traversal basically we have iterated over all the nodes that were given but if you see these nodes and the fashion we have visited them it actually gives a very interesting uh, perspective for the problem we are trying to solve well first of all we are visiting the node that is located at this position number one then we visited its children which are actually located at this level two so first we visited the level one node then we visited all the node nodes that are present at level two and then we visited all the nodes that were present at level 3. If we had any further nodes, then we would have visited them that were uh, for the nodes that were located at this level number 4. So this breadth for search is actually a very good solution for the problem we are trying to solve where we are, we are trying to see that what would be the level order traversal for any given tree. Basically, we are anyways iterating the nodes in particular levels. So all we will have to do is just simply make tuples of the levels levels that uh, we are visiting and the nodes we are visiting at. So that is how we are going to optimally solve this problem. Now we are going to use the same tree that we have been using so far and we are going to see that what would be the answer. So first of all we will have to create an array list where we are going to store the answer. Now at any given position whenever we start iterating over this tree and whenever we jump to a new level we are going to create a new node inside our array list. Uh, so first of all we are at this level 1 right so now for this level 1 we are going to create a new node over here which is this one and for this level because this node is located at level 1 we are actually going to create an entry over here now for this one we are actually going to iterate over its children we are going to call its children 2 and 3 now with because these are children of this node 1 they are actually going to be located at level which is whatever the level of this one is plus 1 so the level of uh, this one is actually one so one plus one is going to be two so these nodes they are actually going to be located at level two now the moment we identified a new level we are actually going to create a new node inside our array list so over here we would have created this new node now in this new node because we visited these values two and three we are going to actually add the value two and three over here now again we will have to further go down for this level two and three and remember that initially we only had this one node and we visited its children now again we have a node and we are visiting its children and again we have a node and we are visiting its children and uh, suppose these had if the new nodes they, we would have visited their children as well so basically we are doing the same work for different set of inputs where initially this was a child but now this becomes a parent for these nodes so we are basically doing recursion nothing special in this so now for, from this level 2 whenever we will call these left and right children basically where, what we would have done is we would have increased whatever the value of level was for this value 2 plus 1 so this was located at level 2 which means these nodes they are actually located at level 3 so now again we created a new level so because we created a new level we are going to create a new entry inside our array list and then all the values located at this level we are actually going to store them in this portion of our array list so now we are going we are first of all we are going to visit node 4 so we are going to add node 4 over here then from this 2 we are going to visit its right children which is this node 5 so we are going to add 5 over here now we still have nodes that we haven't visited so now we have this node 3 so we are going to first of all visit its left children which is this node 6 and this is also located at level 3 because this 3 originally was located at level 2 so this is also at, because this is at level 3 we are adding it in the third portion or third placeholder inside our array list and then in the end we are going to visit this node number 7 as well at the end now this does not have any further children so we are good up until this point and we can stop our traversal and return this new array list that we have created as the answer. 
so this is the approach we are suggesting and if we see we did the breadth first search traversal and basically we did it recursively now we could have done it iteratively as well no, nothing special in there uh, so you can discuss with your interviewer what is the strategy you want to use and nine out of ten times your interviewer is going to ask you to do this problem recursively because it's a lot, lot less code uh, if we see time and space complexity in this case the time complexity is actually going to be big of n where n is the number of nodes that are present inside this given node and if we see space complexity well uh, basically we will have to create recursive we will have to make recursive calls and that takes uh, some space and that space is actually dependent on height of the given tree so space complexity is actually going to be big of h where h is the height of the tree now first of all we are actually going to create a list of lists where we are going to store the answer and we are going to declare it as a global variable because we are uh, going to create a new method for our recursive call so first of all let me create this global variable called answer now we are going to create a new public method which is going to be uh, acting as our recursive function and it does not return anything we are going to name it as order and as an argument it is going to take any tree node and the level we are currently at and now inside this method first of all what we are going to do is that whenever we are at any position or whenever we are creating a new node basically we are going to add a new entry to our answer after creating a new value for a new level now all we will have to do is whatever this tree node is based on its level value we will have to add that value to our answer now after doing that basically all we will have to do is for any single given node value first of all we are going to check that whether it's left child and right child if they exist or not if they exist basically we are going to call the same order method with this left child and right child and we are going to increase the value of the level that is all we need to do for this order method so now from this main method first of all we are going to check for an edge case that if this given root is null if this is null we can simply return the answer And if this given root is not null, basically we will have to call this order method with our root information and the current level that we are at. And now at the end, we simply have to return whatever the answer we get. Let's try to run this code. It seems like our solution is working as expected. Let's submit this code. And our code is actually pretty efficient compared to a lot of other solution. And I would be posting this in the comments so you can check it out from there. Thank you.